Well, hello from Chiang Mai, Thailand. Yes, we are in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Yes. And we moved here mm-hmm. not yeah. too long ago. Yeah. And well, now, now we live here. Yeah, that, that happened over the course of the past three months, I, I think. Yeah. yeah. We might as well talk about how much of a musical city Chiang Mai is. It's such a musical place. Which is something that I never knew yeah. at all until yeah. I met you and mm-hmm. I came here. Um, and I still didn't believe it until I actually saw it. Mm-hmm. Why do you think that is? Why here? I don't know. I think it's a combination of the tourism here, mm-hmm. um, because it actually gets tourists, mm-hmm. but it's not really a very touristy place. Right. But you get a regular um, rotation of um, people coming around to these bars. Right. And you also have people who live here and retire here. Right. And so there's a lot of people with money who spend money at bars and they want to see some music. Mm. And there's just a massive amount of very talented Thai musicians. Yeah, that part I just don't mm-hmm. understand where that came from. Seems to me like there's the jazz scene mm-hmm. and there's the blues scene. Mm-hmm. And that doesn't mean that it's limited to those two genres, but those two, I think there's nurturing communities in both of these areas. Yeah. So like if you look at the North Gate, mm-hmm. for example, um, they've got almost like a mentorship that happens where oh, they get the see, young people yeah, in that, to play. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And then the blues jams, you know, anybody gets a chance to play. And, mm-hmm. you know, these clubs will be willing to hire new talent. Mm-hmm. And so every night you go out, it seems like, you know, the joke here is that there's a 7-Eleven, you know, across the street from every 7-Eleven. Mm-hmm. It's almost like that with, with music clubs here. Yeah. There was one night when we were driving home late after being out and it was like oh look there's music oh there's music oh there's music and they keep oh, popping there's up music. And yeah. yeah lots of places yeah mm-hmm. so i was pleasant very pleasantly surprised mm-hmm. i also you know i like a little bit of a challenge yeah and i i get that here so yeah the talent's really good yeah but at the same time mm-hmm. i don't feel like anybody is massively competitive like no it's all not. the other communities music right. communities that i've been part of throughout my whole life yeah no you don't get the snobbery yeah yeah it's so nurturing it's so welcoming and inviting Very humble. but also there is a, a level that yeah. you know and people kind of find their place they like find you, their yeah. level yeah 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 that's um, something i've noticed in the 10 years i've been coming for here. sure they kind of fall naturally mm-hmm. in their place right? right um which i like too mm-hmm but it's it's very very fascinating how it happens so organically, yeah. and and just how nice everybody is, mm-hmm. you know, just yeah, naturally. It's, it's a big part of the culture is you know, to be respectful and nice to people mm-hmm. and to smile. Yeah, yeah, and that's the way I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wonder when it's going to start bothering me because you know I can find fault in everything, every situation. I know this being married to you. <laughs> But so far, I'm living the most fulfilling days of my my yeah, life. I it's think. great. Yeah, it, it I, never. I it. Yeah, it never got old to me. Mm. Um, the the Muay Thai really helps. I really like mm. it. That yeah. that kind of exercise will just you know leave you smiling all day because mm-hmm. like what are you gonna do? <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. You just keep going. There's something about it being a Buddhist culture too. Yes, I feel very much at ease here. Yeah. Uh, no, so we're probably going to change the name of our yes. YouTube channel, right? Mm-hmm. Because um, we are no longer just talking about movies. We also want to branch out and talk about other aspects of life. Mm-hmm. Maybe have other some, conversations. Yeah, have yeah. other conversations about maybe expat life in mm-hmm. Thailand. And we want to expand the channel a little bit. Mm-hmm. We came up with this name it's your idea yeah but then i thought it would be good for the for the yeah. youtube channel and it's mean pomeranians mean pomeranians because we thought it sounded cool mm-hmm. and we are surrounded by mean pomeranians in our new neighborhood they're very mean yeah there's there's two there's next door neighbors have mean pomeranians <laughs> yeah. and then there's the gay couple yeah. with their mean pomeranians oh, who that, walk that, down the street their pomeranians yeah. like the gay couples yeah. pomeranians are really mean are really mean yeah, yeah. they yeah. were yelling at yume every day yeah. yeah they're always yelling at yume they're sort of these little shit dogs that just like they come up and they're like yeah Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You want some of this? You want some of this? And then, 
Mm, yeah. And they're tiny, right? Yeah. And they have these like short dogs fluffy, disease. Yeah. And they're very fluffy mm-hmm. with these big eyes. And, and they're, they're horribly like, annoying. <laughs> you want some of this? Yeah, you can come get it. You mm-hmm. know, and nobody's, you know, even looking at them. But they're. Right. I feel like a mean Pomeranian. Yeah, we can be mean Pomeranians. Yeah. On the, we're gonna we're gonna unload a little bit on mm-hmm. some things. Yeah, some cultural issues mm-hmm. and some political issues, maybe. Yeah, and so, with a little bit of love and respect. Yes, yes. And so I thought, the name for yeah, us. It's good. Yeah, that's great. Mm-hmm. All right, so we will talk again soon. Yeah.